Okay, folks. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's a bit of a sad Sunday. I've been left. I've been. I've been abandoned, folks, by my own family. Yes, they have. They've abandoned me. So check out Solo Bros video to see what they all got up to without me. It's Solo Jag lives today. Yeah, normally Bro's sitting in the car there with me. I'm like, oh, today. Well, Bro, where are you? I don't know where he's gone. Anyway, so yes, uh, we're here. Just uh, to chill out. It's late. It's one o'clock. Well, it's about quarter to one. So we're very late going out today. We just lay in my bed and watch some YouTube this morning. Just being a right lazy git. So we're out to go and do something now. I need to go and grab a coffee and something to eat probably. That's probably the main plan. Let's do this. Okay, folks, our first stop today is right here in the middle of this roundabout at the end of the uh, the Tay Road Bridge. And this is one of the stanchions, I don't know if we call it a stanchion, a pillar, exactly exactly the same size and made from the same materials that the uh, the same that the other ones are made of that actually hold the bridge now, up. This is a memorial to three, three of the men who died making the bridge. I thought there was actually something on it that told you, but... Maybe not. Oh, well, there we go. Right. And it's... Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, it's very windy today, folks. Very windy today. I think we're getting the storm coming in. There's a storm. Alina or something coming in. They named the storms after days of the alphabet. Days of the alphabet. Letters of the alphabet. So the last one was Storm Diane, I think, wasn't it? So this next one is Storm Aline. And the next one after that will be Storm Frank, no doubt, or something. But there we go. Excellent. What's in the box, folks? What is in the box? What could it possibly be? What do you think of this, folks? This is the view we're going to have for eating whatever's in the box. So let's get it open. And it is cheesecake. Yes. Excellent. There we go. Right, folks. So we went to that place, that uh, that kitsch place, uh, the kitchen, kitsch, kitchen, to get my coffee today. I uh, thought I'd go there rather than go to the usual conglomerates, and we'll get some nice coffee, some cappuccino there, man. And oh, there's a storm coming cake. in, folks. Let me just show Can you this. You see the storm coming in? There it is. It's sort of hidden. Where would that be now? That'd be sort of Errol area, away up there at the moment. So yes, indeed, while we're looking up that way, that's where bro, uh, my sister and my mum are today. Now the situation was, they, they wanted to go and look for this um, lost village of Jerusalem. Now normally I would love to go and see it, man, but it's uphill. It's all uphill, very steep and uphill, and it's quite a long walk. And I just don't think my back and my shoulder would, would, would cope with it, man. I know it's a fucking nuisance, isn't it? So I've had to kind of stand stand aside with that one and let them just go for it themselves rather than me hold them back. I know. So anyway, so I've got my coffee and my, my carrot cake as consolation today. Okay, folks. Now, when I was in the uh, the shop there, I bought, well, I didn't buy, I didn't buy, I got bro um, a present because last time he was there, he cried about this because I, I got them. I, I got three of these little postcard things which are done by a local artist uh, what's her name now her name is Karen McAllister and this one is Ricky O'Neill and this one is Louise Kirby oh I thought they were all done by the same artist they all look kind of in a similar sort of styley man but there we go so yeah a set of three things for bro there you go bro I've got your present what did you get me today what, what are you gonna bring me back from some fillings from the lost village of Jerusalem eh? A stone, you know, a stone would be nice, man. That'd be nice. Anyway, the storm's now progressing down at the banks of the Tay. It's almost about to hit the Tay Rail Bridge. So yeah, Excellent. there's the storm still coming in strong, folks. Look at this. Oh, look at that! Top of the law there, folks. We're getting very windy indeed. I've got the microphone out. I had to get the microphone out. Now I've just noticed up there on the hill. There's a public footpath and there is a, a tunnel. Can you see it, folks? Just 
there, a tunnel. So we're going to go and see if we can walk up to the tunnel. It doesn't look too far, but knowing my luck, it'll take about half an hour. So here we go. We're going looking for the tunnel. So the path leads up this way. Right, folks, well, what a, a lovely surprise just coming up here. And there it is, a little lock with swans, their necks plunging below the waterline in search of fish and algae, something to keep them alive in these harsh conditions. <laughs> right, David Attenborough. Right, oh, there's the, there's the tunnel up there, folks. There it is. Right, there we go. That must be part of the old uh, Newport Wormit rail line, yes. And we have wild berries, excellent. And more excitement. No, it's not particularly good, but it's still fungi. We have a fungi find, there it is. Find of the day. Looks like a little um, fanned gilled brown topped shroom. Right, approaching the tunnel. Right. Oh, somebody there, man, honestly. Right, tunnel. 186. Wow, this is a great tunnel, man. It's, I think it's well soundproof, this one. It seems to have some sort of... Uh, I thought I was cladding on top, but it's not, it's just brick. So, here we go, folks. We're just about in the centre. Yep, here we go. Space! Well, yeah, it was all right, man. It was loud at the start, but then it fades away pretty quickly. So, but still, yeah, it's excellent. So, it comes out and it leads up to here. There's a shack in the woods there. Look, it looks like <laughs> Dorothy's farmhouse from the Wizard of Oz. I remember it got dumped. Look, it looks like it's just been dumped there in the trees. It's weird. Yeah, so very strange indeed. Oh, I think I know where this is. It comes out at this uh, bit of waste ground. Oh, crikey, look at this. Another surprise. And there's a a little shack. Look at that turreted bit there. Excellent. Got to go in and explore this man. We have to. Let's see what's in here. Well, looks like the back of an old house, really. There are some old drying pole, poles here. Look. Um, let's see how far we are. It's all going to be nettled off here. Hang on. The entrance. I'm going to clamber in here, folks. Crack it, I'm in. Oh. First thing I see is an old, an old rolling pin.
Right, well, that was an unexpected little urbex there, folks. Excellent fun. So this whole area must have just been a little farmstead. Yeah, well, that's where I was, folks. Just through there. Walk seems to carry on this way. I'll go up to the, the top and see what's up there, man. Looks like somebody's collecting old tractors here or something. Look, there's an old police box, old tractor, an old tractor there as well. Look at that. Excellent. Folks, found some more bits and pieces here. Look. Oh. Old trucks, Pattersons. This is an old scrapyard, I think, really. Yeah, there we go. That's where I've just come from, folks. And the walk carries on up there. We have a, uh, a trough. Oh, cone alert, folks. <laughs> cone. Yes, there it is. Excellent. Well, it looks like the walk just carries on up there. We'll just go to the brow of this hill and that'll be it. Alright folks, we've come to the top of the and uh, the top and it just seems to go along that way so that'll be it for just now. It was a nice little half hour stroll folks. Just going to turn back now, get back to the car, see what the rest of the day brings.